you say, so you obviously done a lot of NFT drops and you say that you've worked on the creative and the marketing side of it. Um, I've have, so for example, I have some friends right now doing an NFT drop and you go into the discord and it's all very much driven around getting your certain ranks. If you get this rank, you get this NFT, uh, then you get access to this. And it's all based a lot around the financial return you'll get from this NFT collection. And I, have a heart, and I don't see as much the whole side, like the long-term vision of how it will actually pan out. And so that's one thing I find very scary. And I find there's so many projects out there right now using this kind of form of marketing where they're really just talking about all these f- different levels of, you know, share with these amount of people, you reach this level and get white, white listed and all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. So mm-hmm. what are your thoughts? How, how do you look at the marketing of a project? Cause obviously the whole financial side is still very important, but personally, I, I think it's kind of uh, hard to get the balance between long-term and short-term. You know. Yeah. I think having a roadmap is important and, and not just a short-term roadmap. You know, if you're going to create something, it, look, if, if it's a short-term thing, and I've done short-term projects, let people know this is the project. This is the end of it. You know, these are purely collectibles. And, and mm-hmm. I've done that. And I've told people, and then I've had people get upset with me for not doing more with it. But mm-hmm. I told you up front, this is for fun. These are yeah. collectibles. That's it. They're not a key. Now, if I could choose to do something with them, but I you always be honest up front and tell people. Whereas things like our blockchain hero series and uh, the Draco dice, these are long-term projects. We're here to grow the, the IP and the brand and bring more value and entertainment to people. Um, it's not about making money. Now people will make money because yeah. some collectibles are more rare than others, but mm-hmm. it's about fun. Remember yeah, yeah. fun? Yeah. <laughs> do I remember? I don't, I don't know. I remember fun. <laughs> No, I, I mean, mean, fun is fun is a, the, a, the center, the core of everything I do. Uh, okay. I, I don't care how much money it could make. If I'm going to be miserable doing it, I don't want to do it. And I've turned yeah. away opportunities uh, throughout my career to do things. I, mean, I got invited to go work for Yahoo after I sold them my site, which a right. lot of people will be like, holy cow, that's, you know, as, as a senior, um, you know, game executive and and i i didn't want to didn't Mm. i didn't want to work for them i didn't want to move to california Uh, i didn't want to uproot my family i wanted and i didn't want to work for anybody so you know a a million other people would have jumped on it i said it was intuitively it didn't even take me any time to think about it i knew i don't want to do that so i'm not going to and uh, i think i think it's important for whatever you're building in the nft space if you're not having fun doing it um, then how are you going to communicate that passion to others? Uh, mm-hmm. y- people like to be around others who are having a good time. And so I think that's one of the keys to the success I've had is I look like I'm having a good time because I am. <laughs>